Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 3 of the Sudanese Expedition. I said it right this time. Um, the goal of this one is to just, like, you know, eat everything, consolidate, potentially take Jared. Once we ate dough out of a truth. Same with Clemson, and we're eventually going to have to go towards Spain. So they'll stop um, enforcing Seuss freedom. However, something we can do right now is some good old coast raiding. We can grab quite a bit of money from the Castilian... Oh, we were too late. The Tunisians got it. Ah, damn it. I said to myself, keep remember, but clearly I didn't. So we're going to go this way instead, because we have a core here, and it extends our colonial range quite a bit. We have money, so we can just spend it. The one thing we don't have is manpower, so that's what we're going to be doing. I'm training my troops to try and get army... Drilling, not training, to get army professionalism so we can slacken the recruitment standards. Get more manpower again. Oh, valid target there. Eh? Can't can't even raid that. Ooh, all the way up here's been raided. So has this been raided or not? No. Then why did it say no valid target? Why 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 does that not work? What was that? I'm not sure. I think that was Shilb. They're almost loyal. Right, so no valid targets. If I put you in there as well, can I then raid it? Is it something to do with not being able to block it? No, I can't raid that. Is it because I have... A province in the state, maybe? I'm not sure. Oh well. We're now able to integrate Marrakesh. Thanks to my mistake last episode. Um, now it's just Sooth, which is going to be difficult because Castile and, you know... <sighs> how, I, how I love the support independence mechanic that they then never stop. Yeah, they start. The only way to stop them is via war, which is a very stupid mechanic. Though at least we now have Tech 4. And they have corruption. Did they debase currency? They must have. That's a little interesting. And I'm now losing money. I'm also losing frames, but that's... That's... Not something to be fixed easier. No, we're still... Ahead. Not ahead. Um, below our limit. So it could just be a multitude of infinite other things. I don't know. Could be anything. Combat width is still 20. I could defend with the faith, but I'm saving my money for the um, mosques and work shops that will allow us to, you know, get more missions, build buildings, and then treasury. Here's the reason we started losing a lot more money. An extra castle that we don't need. There we go, that fixes the problem. I've also been debating something rather drastic. About that drastic. If I declare this... 
yes, admittedly, I have less troops, but I can vassalize them and then just start taking all this land before anyone else gets to it. Which I'm not sure. I've been thinking, will I be able to get to Tech 5 for the, um, for them? No, I'm going to eat you. Um, can I get to Tech 5 before everyone starts getting Africa? And again, I'm not sure. Because you can just start coring things off your vassal, can't you? Like, maybe make my way to the coast. So I could start coring things this way as well. The only thing I'm worried about is Castile. If I got start going down there, will they just jump on me? Hmm. You know what? I think it'll be funny. Oh god, there's nowhere to put the army, never mind. Though that that will be the plan eventually. Either no CB them. I probably want a bigger army because they're allied with literally everyone. They're on tech three. What's what's tech looking like down there? Two, two, three. It's looking pretty bad. Now I'm on tech four. Nah, let's do it. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. It'll be fun. Um, you. Because you have more shock. And we'll just get another vassal. Jared. No, we plan to invade you as well. When can we invade you? 61. So we got some time to deal with Timbuktu. Same with Clemson. Yeah, Clemson is 61 as well, because they were allied. Oh, there goes Jared. They're now at war with... Um, oh, I got rid of that. What? No, not steel. Uh, Granada. Yeah, Granada is also at war with Tunis. Right. Split the army. You get you. First we're going to need to kill all the natives here. While I remember. Because they're going to get in the way. Very, very quickly. How many? 3,000. That's the natives gone. And just because it, I think it'll be fun. And also, they're at war with someone else. No one joins the coalition because of it. Chaos reigns. This will make the Morocco... Um, Morocco? Yeah, we are Morocco. The Moroccan campaign, much more fun and interesting. Now it'll just take forever to march into Timbuktu. So we have made everyone a little upset. No, what we want is you as a vassal. And only they care. And I also want all the money. We're back once the war has begun to decide itself. So a few battles have happened. I'm shoveling more and more men into the siege of Timbuktu. But we are. I'm taking a battle here, which I'm fairly certain I should be able to. It's on the 1st of March, because that will get rid of the Timbuktu soldiers and the top stack of Mali soldiers. So we'll just be fighting 5,000 troops, which would be much better, and they will take forever to reinforce. They're moving to draw, they're moving up here. All of these sieges don't matter. 
There we go. They moved out and we move in. They're trying to move back to Tordini. But we should be able to defeat these troops before they get locked in. Which we were. We wipe them and they get scared and run away. So we were able to get the siege. I'm going to say, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to reach five army specialists to slacken recruitment standards. Because what I currently need to do is get mercenaries. More mercenaries. <laughs> That's what you do once you start making a lot of money. You just hire mercenaries to fix all your problems. I say problem. This isn't really much of a problem. Because we're winning and we've got superior troops. It's just a little bit of a detour shall we say. This is the first one I'm able to piece out, Messina. I, I left one, oh, I was hoping that they wouldn't get black flagged, which they didn't, which is useful. They are moving into Timbuktu. That's a battle we can take with our great morale and stuff. But yeah, now we're sieging down the, I think, capital. Yeah, the capital of Mali, which, oh, they'll accept peace. And there we go, we basically won. We now have zero worries. This means nothing. We've won. Great. We can't go this way. Because they didn't let us walk into that one province. Maybe we can now? Yes, we can now, which is even better. They're going back into Turat. And I'll get all my soldiers to siege the rest of this dam. I intend to try and keep all the Timbuktu soldiers alive. Just because I want a vassal that has troops. Rather than a vassal that's got nothing. Because I do intend to vassalize them. So I'll just kind of, I guess, unsiege stuff or unoccupy stuff. While they're doing their thing. Finally, after a slow campaign of just finding the fort, standing on it, so they are scared that we are sieging their capital and piecing them out, we're able to get a vassal of Timbuktu. They will also give me some money to pay for what I just had to endure. And now I'm also able to delete those and we did it right after Timbuktu soldiers wiped out Susian forces in the capital of Sus. And now we can return home with a newly conquered vassal in um, West America? Ooh. Jafari and... I have no idea what it meant. The only Jafar I know are the ones in Stargate and the knife biscuit cakes that we have in the UK, Jaffa cakes. We're now walking up here to deal with Tlemcen, and we also have high income, so now it's time to build the mosques with the money we made and the tech that I got. And now it's time to just get on top of all of our internal affairs, such as money and a vast lack of any men in the army. So, do you know that war with just Aragon? Castile at war with anyone? No. So we've got to wait for Castile, or Portugal, oh yeah, Castile to go to war with someone, so we can go in on Portugal, so we can not call in Aragon, so we can stop them supporting the independence of Sus. Confusing times we live in. 
when can we next raid? Ooh, now. Yeah, raid's raid. And it's 65 for the next ones. I wonder if it's viable to raid here yet. Shame this only gives us sailors and not manpower. But you know, money's money. No valid target. I don't get why this isn't valid at target. Ooh, how about down here? Because we can see down here now. Go on. Yes, we can raid down here. Seven whole ducats. And on that good note, it's time to end the episode. So, in this one, we gained Timbuktu, and we annexed Marrakesh. We sent thousands of soldiers to die in the deserts of West Africa. So, another, another day, another Morocco. So, yeah, I'll see everyone in the next episode. And on that note... Thank you for watching. Goodbye.